Hey everyone, Deppin here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 122 here. We're coming fresh off of a duo playthrough where we survived every single raid. It was a blast. Um, we even ended up getting a couple of Guhar's guards at the last episode. You should check out the live VODs and definitely check out LU's perspective as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to get a little bit organized. We're going to go warm up on Lighthouse without the M1A and then maybe go in with the M1A afterwards. Um, but we'll see overall and uh, I'll see you on the stash. Okay. Uh, get the platoons going again. I just want to get this stuff sold up here because we're this is from all of the uh, scab case runs. The 15Ks have been working pretty well. I got to give them that. Oh, I wanted to turn that into weapon parts, actually. Um, and I did want to sell that. Okay, cool. It's been giving us, like, random armors, random stuff, and it just doesn't break the bank like the 95Ks do. So I kind of like it. It's also giving us random mags, which I think I said before, which and weapons parts for stuff. So it could be really, really useful for um, what we have going on here. Okay, two hours left on that. Good. This should be like minutes. Yeah, then we'll have propotol. Uh, we don't we don't have that, so we might as well use that for storage. And then I wanted to. I should just type in weapon part. Yeah, get these going into two weapons parts because that has a trade for something and I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it's useful. So 95 cases are really, really good for flea cells. Usually make your money back at the very least. True. Yeah. I mean, it's still good for hardcore. Don't get me wrong. I just, I, we're starting to save money and the 15 K doesn't burn it, burn the money nearly as fast. So just kind of reminding myself what we're gunning for here or looking for here. Gunsmith wise. It's the HK parts. It's this is done. We need oh we need the muzzle here. We need Zook. We need the mag. All right, cool. What is that SVDS? Yeah, yeah. It's got the the classic stock. That's not that's the wrong stock. That F SVDS is basically just SVDS. We need so many different things for it. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. That's actually epic. That's so good for us, getting a hybrid suppressor. Because we can trade for the actual suppressor, just not the mount. So that's really damn good. That puts us at plus two for the suppressors we need. Um, for, for test drive. So definitely good. All right, let's do this and then get a bag of some sort. I want to get a bag going here. I can make more piranhas. Oh, I know what I did last night that I wanted to show off to everybody. Look, I am finally ammo organized. Look at this. It's beautiful. Be a little easier to find stuff. So top right, we or top left, we have your uh, nine mil. Straight nine mil. Then we have other pistol rounds. Then we have uh, AK rounds. Or big boy AK rounds. Then we have uh, NATO, which includes these 300 blackouts. Then we have uh, 762 by 51 by 54. Then we have 545. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. And then we have randomness. This is Ash 12 VSS Lapua <laughs> stuff. And then we have shotgun. So not bad. And we have a ton of piranha rounds. So yeah. I'm not going to guarantee this is going to stay, but it is going to be useful. Just when I'm looking for like a random top up and I and I can't find it. Okay. Let's see what bags we have here. I don't know if I want to do super big bags. Probably just end up doing that one. We have this one, but I don't want to necessarily do it. Do we have this guy's trades? We do. Let's just do that then. Oh, good. A couple of those backed up. That's good. Just very basic kit here. Um, we have a flashlight. We have save that for later. Got a helmet. We got a level three. Got a spare mag. Let's get some meds, and then we're good to go. And our goal is to go get some scab kills on long road and whatnot. So now somebody said I could shoot off a yellow flare, and it would attract the scavs, um, which I found to be interesting. So we may go for that as well. I'm just kind of curious, because we're allowed to buy yellow flares. 
And this is for a task. Uh, I don't know what they're classified under. That's a green flare. We're not allowed to buy those. Is it Prapper probably then? Yeah, I don't know what they're classified under. How do you get the Lapua? Uh, PvP trade or PvP scas, etc. Um, I think you kill a player with it. it can, I think it can spawn in marked rooms, and I think Sturman can rarely have it. Like, it is a rare spawn, but it is rare. Very rare. And basically only marked rooms. Twas me, uh, and yes, on the wiki it says yellow flare. Yellows are attract to attract scavs. That's interesting. And I did make these part of our, you know, allowed to purchase things. So. All right. Good. Let's. <sighs> Daytime's going to be rough. Yeah, daytime's going to be rough. We're going to go nighttime. We have a flashlight. We're going to try to be inconspicuous here. Maybe try to kill somebody with some nice MVGs. Um, he says as he's going to go shoot a flare off. Anyway, I'll see you in raid. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, did we get an actual decent spawn? Okay, we did. Oh, because you won some slots? I see. Uh, you don't have to apologize for that. I think somebody can spawn in front of us here. But this is where we need to kill scavs, I think. There's also vertex spawns here. Can get a lot of PvP here, though. Pretty sure we have ours already. And as always, we could we could spike a weapon part we need at any point, right? This protects less, but this lets me put MBGs on. Do love me a 5.7. Some motor spawn there. I don't need it, but it's pretty cool. Bullets for my 5.7. Are they good? No. But bullets are bullets. Is this lootable? SR is better than F. Uh, there's some that there's some that do enough flash damage that it's like it's worth. I think we're good on those.
Never really looted in here much, so. It's true, uh, Malaris. All, all bullets are good if you hit them, and mostly the chin, less the forehead, but yeah, the same principle. This isn't the one with the safes, is it? Is this one with the safes? No. We did up here. Okay, yeah. It's the next one with the safes. Which we do have the keys for. Which is nice. All right, I think the vertex spawn is in the garage here somewhere. I just don't know where. And I really should have looked this up prior. If I could ask somebody to chat Google for me. I think it might be where that bad Cyclone battery is. Because that's kind of a rare spawn. Just look up the vertex on the wiki and then link the, the, the vertex wiki page in chat. And I'll just look up where all the spawns are or have that list available to me. Thank you. Okay. Marin car trunk, different spots located southeast of the water treatment plant. Numerous different spots of the chalet that is located in the hill south. Yes. It says numerous different spots, but it doesn't show any of them. It's kind of annoying. Crate next to a crashed bus in the blue car in the main road. Crashed bus and a blue car. Okay. Uh, water treatment plant building. Don't care about that. Oh, hidden drug lab too, huh? The USEC cottage garage and the workbench under the fabric. And then building three. Okay. All right, let's go see if there's scabs at the next one. We came at like a weird time where it was like too early for NVGs, but... for insomnia kills, I think. Okay, that's good. We want people not to be here. That still has a window. Pretty much just Dolby everywhere in the chalets can spawn vertex. You know, there's a lot of different spawns in the chalets that can spawn vertexes. That's what it told me, basically. Filters are, like, not super high on our list. They're fine, not great. from this where was that in relevance relevance to me up on that cliff there they might be heading towards here
Definitely seen stems in here before. Yeah, it's like right on the hill. I'm in contacts. I think we go fast. Of course, I can't walk up these stairs. No wrong way for this. Dollars. That's a bathroom. I do this every time. I always go the wrong hallway path. What is that? Okay, nothing. No, no, yeah, these ones are open up. They used to be really, really OP. And they still are good. They can have it every once in a while. Like, they'll have vertexes in there. That's how we got them last wipe. Classic. Vertex, Vertex, V I R T X. little processor unit that are reasonably rare. Yeah, no worries. I mean, you, I mean, you found it ready for a task.
Probably should have died just then. Dead Pine, do you know the difference between a boulevard, an avenue and a crescent? Because if you do, you're pretty street smart. Nice. Nice. It's not nothing. I don't know where I killed this cowboy hat guy. There he is. That's annoying. I think it's just a bug, but it's still annoying. I want to check this cowboy hat guy for uh, contacts. Doesn't look like it. That's in resort or in in water treatment. We're done with that. Yeah, we did need them, but we're done with that. All right, let's um let's get our arm back. Might go try this yellow flare thing. Seems like a good time to do it. There's also a, um, some good spawns down here in this pool area, or this tennis court area. Didn't I, did I check this area? I did. Never mind, not gonna do the flare. Could go backwards here. Yeah, you know what, let's go backwards here. Loot our way out to the other extract.
This might be something I need to mark. Yes. That's the bus they're talking about? Welcome back, Mark. Hope you're well. I guess there could be multiple buses here, huh? Like that's a bus. Would be nice to get the mayor in car key. As well. Almost an AZ. Have another five hours of driving. Well, best of luck to you, as always. Okay, I think it's this one. There's a, a crate near this, apparently. Yeah. That's not the one I need. That is a that is a pretty sick stim though. Okay. All right, I see you, crate. You got some rare stuff in you. What's an L1 do? Ran it for us back. Level sixes. I don't think so, Mark, but there's an outside chance that we do it tomorrow. But mostly an outside chance. It's not a guarantee. But I will not be here Sunday. Sunday is definitely my guarantee. I don't say guaranteed day, but that's the day I like doing it on. It also depends on how Tarkov goes today and tomorrow. You know? I have so many of those, though. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this. L1 is a low-grade SJ6. Gotcha. Sounds about right. Our battery TP. Man, getting a Marin car key would be actually huge. That is pretty solid. Snow country again? Oh, bummer. I guess you always have a chance of hitting a, an Uber chat over here doing Mike Keeper. But we should go loot for stuff that can get us... A um, set of contacts. Who's paying for 120 seconds on painkillers? Um, oh, I technically need the shus, but 
I don't feel like making room for it. Plus 10 in strength increase. Plus 20 stamina. Debuffs, one delay. Okay. This is like a painkiller meets SJ6. It's interesting. But also gives... Does... Because the SJ6 doesn't give strength, right? Pretty sure it just gives endurance and stamina. So previously, you could be able to jump. You, you, you know, you maybe you could jump somewhere you normally wouldn't be able to. Wow. Is this one of the things I have to mark? I feel like this is one of the things I have to mark. I really hope I don't get shot by Zarachi. That's good to get done. It's a cache over here sometimes. Hey. Horses are worth. Yeah, horses trade for everything. I ditch the yellow flare too because again we can buy them. Dang, all the shus, huh? I technically need it for stash four. It's just we're 30 million rubles away from stash four, so and I plan on that being a post kappa thing. So we're not gonna worry about that. Let's just hope the jackets give us something good. It's just money. Is there anything in here I'm saving for money that's worth less than that? This, I guess. Might as well. I have found some really absurd ammo on this table here. All right, this is this has been looted. Okay, so somebody probably looted and left. Why is that doing that? A lot of the times, people who spawn here will just loot this and leave. Although now we know. that it's a really good spot to go kind of upstairs with. I kind of want that ES lamp. Yeah, you know what? That was fine. That was fine. Good little warm-up. We got a couple kills. We got a couple things marked. That was a little win. That's a little win, but a big win, you know? Didn't get a vertex, but gave ourselves a good shot for one. So, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. All right. Yeah, not bad. Obvious typo there. That meant to, that was supposed to be a headshot, you know? Obvious typo. Alrighty, we have 
done some stuff here. Let's just make a big old cell pile. And what do you go into? Link search. You go into specifically that, but that's a level six upgrade for that, which is pretty dang cool. That's for our second key tool. This is there. I'm fairly certain we have this. Yes. So we can sell that. I don't think this does anything, right? Nope. This trades for a nice big backpack now. Uh, that crafts sugar. Okay. Um, this gets sold now. This gets saved. That's for that. That's for that. That goes top right. This goes top right. This goes right there. This gets sold as well. This gets sold as well, I think. Oh, no, we... Oh, right, I could have upgraded this. <laughs> there you go. We'll upgrade to this. Maybe save that for later. You go away. We'll probably sell this too. All right. You all go there. You go there. You know. No idea if that MIA piece out. I think it just has mostly overpen, but it's probably fine. Now, if I needed to, I could have. I, we could have taken Red Rebel. The whole point of taking Red Rebel is that it's like it's it's a good backup, but not necessarily like necessary for us let's go ahead and get two more of these you never know we got to mark stuff and we never know we're going to be in the in the rogue area like we could be in the rogue area i mean that is our best shot at at that kind of stuff but um we could also go to reserve if we wanted to try to get the d2 stuff done like just not necessarily do everything simultaneously here Um, which is not the worst idea in the world. It's definitely over pen, but uh, through helmets will one shot consistently. That's fair. That's fair. I really wish I had contacts. I could put crappy NVGs on these. Yeah, we have four of these crappy NVGs. Let's do that at the very least. And then. Hmm. If we're going back and potentially going on going to rogues, like this this kid has a potential to go for rogues. We should probably put our keys in. Because the rogue area keys can have some pretty good stuff as well. I do. I know it's only useful for literally just me as a hardcore player, but I do wish there was a. Um. like in in inbox key tool or like a you know like a three by three that held like basically all your keys ever be really nice it's really just should be docs cases but docs cases don't even fit all of the keys you need so i don't know the mechanics there but it's not like amazing it's the only other thing is i'd, I'd prefer to be suppressed but i don't know if we have a good suppressor for this i don't think we do all right i don't have a waffle okay then we don't bother No need. I'm sure there's always a need, but... Uh, you know what we could try? I haven't done, used in a while. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have a flashlight on this, but let's, let's give it a shot here. I do have those. And I have one of those. Nice. Yeah, let's use this guy. Because I never, I never use those guys. 
because I always forget that they you have to replace the gas tube on them, not anything else. I wonder if you could do that with the rogues, with the yellow flare. Which, um, thick cases could hold key tools. That would be OP for raids. <laughs> and that's the problem. Is you have to kind of balance it with raids, you know? But, like, you could have, like, a sick case size thing, but that doesn't, that can't be brought into raid, you know? Like, I can't bring this into raid, right? Give me something that's like that, that I can't bring in a raid that holds a ton of keys. That's cheap, you know? All right, let's give that a shot. Yeah, let's give that a shot. I'll see you right. All righty, here we go. See what we can do. Okay, classic. Oh, guess we're going to go for rogues then. We could also counterpoint. Well, we should check the one area for rogues. No, the one the one vertex spawn. It's right down here to our left. We might be able to get in and out without them aggroing. Because there is a vertex spawn right over here. And that would be massive. I think this guy is up. Yep. I think it's like right on there. But Here's the thing. I don't know if that is enough to aggro this guy. It doesn't look like it. I think it's once you start killing them. Cause we don't. I just wanted to check for that vertex spawn. Those two vertex spawns. I didn't really care about much else. Cause there's another vertex spawn over here. The only problem is if these guys are aggroed, they will murder me here. We should see if the car's here. The car is here. I've yet to take this car out. Somebody else is fighting him, and that's okay. I 
Because right. back here, there's a lot of weapons parts. Well, we did enter their area. That's the thing. Or if you're a bear, yeah. So I don't know if the scav spotted thing was enough to trigger a full-on assault from these guys. Yeah. Seemed like the one on the roof wasn't shooting at us, but, it, you know, it could be just a nighttime thing. That's how it goes. But apparently there's a vertex spawn in here. On this chair, I think. It's a roller. I think that's a spawn. There's also stem spawns here. They're rare, but they can happen. that dot anywhere. Okay. Roller's still pretty good. But then what we can do is I'm going to go all the way to the coast and then run up the coast, I think. And do long road over there. We need two for Peacekeeper? Just for a task. Turn in for a task. Armchair with the book. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where that roller was. And where that L1 spawn was as well. So. This is going to be a lot of running this raid, but... That's fine. Also, YouTube, I'm going to look into this. I didn't know this was a thing, and hopefully we can do it. Apparently there's a way to record without the pop-up notifications. You guys also got the audio... But then there'll be less popping up on the screen. And I think that will be better for recording. Like, it doesn't that doesn't work as well in the recorded format. So I'm going to look into see if that's possible. You know, when I get a free second. I think I used the one for the hideout upgrade already. Because you get one from a task. Like a task completion, so I used that for the hideout. I forget what it was for, but... That is historically what I've done. For intel, gotcha. Oh, do you get one for hunting trip? Okay. Well, we've definitely done level two intel center, which I think I think has that. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not too worried about it. Is provocation and you get to which one's provocation and how do we get to it? Oh, it's Lightkeeper. That's not happening anytime soon. There's also a chance I need to complete this task to turn in the vertexes prior to even getting to that task. at least two people still fighting rogues which is pretty good for us might give us a chance to do long road uh, fairly unimpeded which would be good
is where you were. We got AGS. Mm. Well, I guess we'll find out. Because <laughs> there's one on the corner over here as well. I wonder if that rock is still glitchy. Might be. Why not? I mean, we also can see if this this rogue is up. It is. That's terrifying. Do we just try and murder them so we don't get killed? I don't know. I think I'm going to go for it. This is for science. If we get absolutely blasted and murdered, we know. Just going in even slightly into their base will aggro them all. Okay, we would be dead. We would be dead. So, going in that just a little bit did not fully aggro them, I guess. I really need to do some more. I really need to spend more time in the lighthouse to learn it, but to be honest, it sounds like I just ended up donating a bunch of kits. Honestly, yeah. It's. The map can be fun, but it can also just be. The spawns are can be kind of garbage on it. It depends on what you're trying to do. Um, nighttime's the way to go, and if you're a USAC nighttime, like, you can, you can get into areas that, like, are just super uninhabited, you know? Like, that whole train area over there is, like, fine. Fine, not great. But if you're over in this area, you're gonna, you're gonna find people, you're gonna find scavs, you're gonna find player scavs, you're gonna find that. Rogue area is the same. Like, it just gets... Gets a little crazy. The rogues are a little crazy, too. They're fun to farm, I think, but... Maybe not for everybody. Darn, I was hoping to get some. No idea what that'll do. I would like to not be super near that. I mean, that's where I need to be, but that's definitely where we heard somebody shooting. Maybe not need to be, but... Also, I didn't shoot that straight up into the air. Maybe I needed to do that. But they could also go where the... Oh, where the flare... Stops. Super laggy. Why 
mine is super laggy on here. All right, well, that's plus two. That's something. Hey, thanks for the follows today, everybody. I do appreciate that as well. Pretty awesome sauce. Of you all. Weapon part spawns in here. Looks like it's been cleaned out though, so. Potentially looted already. This area is kind of a known quantity, at least. Not that we can sell on the flea market, but those are 100k on the flea market, so I don't know. Maybe not. Or I think they're that, that much. KO. Although FMJ, to be fair, is quite terrifying as well. No contacts, unfortunately. have to go bursting through the doors here, but we should go check. Yeah, I agree, Calden. Sometimes it's a little, little rough. Again, apparently, I don't know if that yellow flare was what, why there was actually scavs there. It did not mean to jump there. Um, but maybe the yellow flare is the tech for that, you know? What's up with the other villa? Safes have been looted. They have. Okay. Yes, we should check the other one. It's it's unlikely that this is not looted. Oh, maybe not. I didn't put the key tool back in my. <laughs> I switched the keys to the key tool, never put the key tool in my, uh... <laughs> oh, that's... That... I mean, if you're not used to it by now, chat, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I genuinely don't. That's just me. That's just how I am. Yeah. 
isn't implemented, but it was from a year ago. Supposed to be implemented. I see. So it's not implemented yet, but it its intention is to attract scavs. Got it. Yeah, I deserve that dirt pine. That is deserved. Full seam is. All right. Where am I going from here? Because it's kind of messed up. We do know car is up. I know this is a really weird roundabout way. We could go try to kill a few rogues and then leave. Player scab? No. I can also see if there's any more on the long road here. I also wouldn't say no to checking this bus spawn oh see look there's one there I don't think you have to be on the long road I think they just have to be on the long road for it to count Yeah, but when they say swarm or, like, attract, like, it, to me, that just sounds like it's, like, they get attracted to the shot. You know, some scavs get attracted to gunshots. Minimum want to check this crate here, I think. Is that a flashlight there? No. I wouldn't say no to checking up there. But that's, I mean, that's definitely where we heard the uh, automatic fire. Could run it all the way out. What do we even have here? Yeah, like, I think I'm fine to just... Let's go this way towards Red Rebel Extract and just... Our goal is to take that, but let's see if we can sneak up and see what we hear.
Well, so there's a different, there's a really rare flare. And this might be what the wiki's talking about. There's a, there's a, a flare where you can, um, have all the AI in the area protect you. So maybe that's what the wiki's talking about. That's the green flare. Not the green extract flare, though. Yeah. There's definitely a difference between those two. I mean, unless this guy's... I don't want to say dumb enough, but, like, you know, silly enough to... Uh, go into the light where I can see him. much for it. it could be also just an AI scav with whatever that's why I threw the grenade to see Hear anything, which doesn't mean anything, of course. My, uh, this is the highest my covert movement's ever been, I think, which is kind of funny. Every med bag has a chance of having our stim in it. It's it's fairly rare, but it can have it. Our stims. This place in general has some good spawns as well as a um I think some weapon parts spawns. Something triggered on it. As well as loving crates, which are just, as we know, very good. Would be really nice to spike a thing we needed, you know? Got four slots left in that. Six slots left in that. Like, can I go in there? I need a mule and I need a three BTG.
thought you could loot that. It is most likely that this has been looted from the shots we heard. Not a guarantee. Nor a guarantee that they hit all the um, weapon cases. It kind of looks like they did, though. Found a mule in vets in streets last night. Oh, it's the 10.5 inch barrel chat. 10.6. I guess we could see if that one works, but still. Why can't it be the 11 inch, huh? Super lame. This is a this is a key door, is it? Maybe not. Somebody's here. It's not like they're going to forget where all the good spawns are. Oh, they dropped painkillers for something. Oh, they did miss this moonshine, though. I mean, we already know they're not taking everything from these. Time or best timer for spicy looting? Can be. Can certainly be. Oh, didn't realize there was weapon part spawns there, too. Cool. All right. I do got to remember where the... Um... Oh, my. I do need to remember where the. I don't need this. Oh, that can go into there. Never mind. Red Rebel is. I don't want to. I don't want to like lose it because I forgot where that was. I'm gonna say that's a vertex spawn right there. Could also be that. I don't know. I think there's definitely one in this garage somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where. I think Red Rebel's up and around here to the left. Nor is this a hard wall. No, it's got to be. It's between the. It's between the two valet. The chalets, right? Just this little area? On the edge here somewhere.
sure is. All right, let's get out of here. Got to take the mountain pass. All right, GG, we traversed the whole map. Didn't really see, we heard some players, didn't see some players. Got a few long road kills. Again, gave ourselves a decent shot for a vertex. Didn't take on the rogues. We could have, though. It's small wins, but they are wins, you know. Take some survives under my belt, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Plus three kills on long road. And some loot. I'll take it. All right. I mean, moonshine is great. Uh, what are you doing? This might be just be on to be sold list. Oh, you do trade for that, huh? It's a little just three rollers. Okay, never mind. It's a third of a level five armor. That is worthwhile saving. Uh, these are good. These are all great. These are to be sold. I think I'm going to sell. Oh, no, this does BT. Keep that then. And now I'm pretty sure this is the same as this barrel, but I was. Yeah, okay, it's the same barrel. And we know this doesn't work, so we can get rid of these. I'll save one. Get rid of most of them, though. Uh. Honestly, I think we're just going to sell that. Just kind of free space. Okay. This barter's well. This craft's well. That's for the hideout. This goes on to you. Look at that. Gives us, I think it's like plus 10 ergo or something silly like that. Yeah, plus 10 ergo and minus 5 recoil. It's, it's dang good. <laughs> it's dang good on those. Bastion. This gets sold. Didn't I have... Oh, did I use it up already? I could have swore I had a... Um... Oh, that's on the other account, right? Let's forget that. <laughs> Dang, account's confusing me. Alright, let's actually swap this. If we're going to go back there. Which I think we are. Just have it a nighttime, nighttime peruse on a lighthouse here. Taking up all my GPU power here or CPU power here. Okay. Yeah, I think we go for one more and just see what we can do. No yellow flare this time. We'll just yeah, give it our best shot here. See what we can uh, get into lighthouse wise. Oh, we don't have any nighttime. Nighttime. Okay. That's fair. We'll take that off. We'll take this off. Put that on. We'll give it our best shot. I'll see you in mid. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what we can get done. Alright. Interesting. Okay. We can do Hillside House here real quick. This is actually I'm not a fan of this one either. This is a tough one to work with. Either way you go, you're gonna have somebody at like height advantage on you. Interesting. Is that a person? No. The rogues, of course, will be a lot more active as well. Okay. I don't know where it is, but I think there is a rare tech spot in here somewhere. Not super common, though. Contacts. Hey, K Bailey. How are you today? K 
Can we, like, make a move here? Thanks. Okay, it's our old friends, the rocks, on Lighthouse. The one with our saves. I think there's a really good chance there's somebody in here already. Start a new job and now my switch machines. Oh, I'm sorry, so I'm like I hope the new job's treating you really well though. And we do have the YouTube, you know, there's, there's YouTube. You're loving the job. That's really good to hear. Yeah. Loving your job is very important. Very, very, very important. So I'm really happy to hear that. Seven hundred for us if we want to try to get it. Yeah, most of the time these are empty. Is that a person right there? I think it's just a tree. Boy, does it look like a person crouch right there. Contacts? 
Could have been contacts. Should start saving Wilsons again. They are one seventeenth of an M one A, you know. Someone's in here. God damn it. Thought they were further to the left. I was trying to bait them, but I thought they were further to the left, so I was gonna go, okay, I'll hear a footstep. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> GG. Uh... <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do? I played off of that's not bad audio. I miss played off of misrepresented audio, I guess. Or I I interpreted the audio wrong, right? <laughs> Them crabsy walking? Nah, nah. It was a... I thought they were a hallway over. So, like, to get to me would take time or steps. But they were not a hallway over. They were just... You know. What are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Had some successful raids on, on that map. So, I'll take it. Alright. Ooh, scavs of rival loot. Let's see what that is. Okay. Again, not terrible. Maybe not the best stuff in the world, but certainly not terrible. I'm going to get this started while we still have fuel on. I don't know why the game's struggling a little bit here. Okay, nearly done on that. That's good. Definitely want to get these going. Forgot about those. Oh, and I have another one ready to go? Let's go. That'll be really good. That'll last us a nice, nice long while. Okay. Let's basically trim all of these for this. Because, yes. All right. What would I like to do? We would like to... I think while I'm warmed up here, I want to try to squeeze one more in here. I think we're going to give this a shot. What's 18, sorry. We're actually pretty close to the next one, too. That's good. This one's technically more accurate as well, which is nice. Oh, do I not have another one of those? Or maybe I just need a... Um... I might just need a 30 mil mount. I don't have another PM scope. Okay. So we actually just straight up can't do this. Could be on a gun somewhere. I don't think so. I think I made a point and an effort to take them all off of guns, but I will check. Oh, you were right. It was on a gun somewhere. Okay. So this is officially our last one there until we get another PM2. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I care more about Ergo. And basically everything else. Maybe not everything else, but a lot of other things. Okay. Alright. There's that. Let's put you on. Let's put you on. Do wish I had some contacts. All 
All right, let's go ahead and do this. So we have a couple options. We can do this on Shoreline. Oh, I don't even have that. So we have tw a 20-rounder. That's also a little bit rough. Okay, so then I'm not going to do this. We're not going to do this. That's that's a bit too much. It's a bit too much. I want I want to have at least another mag, and I want to have I would prefer to have contacts. So let's go let's go fill up this bag somewhere with items that will help me with that. Um. Could be reserve. Reserve has a lot of filing cabinets, which does have a lot of like draw to it for that purpose. Where did I put all the rest of these keys? Oh, down here in this one. Um, For sure. Just put these away in here. So they have their own separate thing. I'm trying to think what other map could potentially do it for us. I mean, Shoreline, yeah, but I'd rather get the kills on Shoreline. Woods has some nice stuff. Hard to fill a bag and do hunting trip, though. Labs hatchet run. I, I got to save my labs key cards. I can't. That will be on the table once we're done the guide. Just saying. Like, that is actually will be on the table once we're done the guide. Because that actually might be, hopefully, where we can get, like, our vertexes and stuff. Um, Potentially. You can't really hatchet run on labs, though. You have to, you have to pistol. You can't, you can't do hatchet on labs. Or you can, but it's like you have to actually find a gun. That's all it really is, is a mad scramble for, for finding a gun. Hmm. Like, with this good of armor, I kind of want to protect it. We can wear this big boy armor when we take this guy in next, because... That guy protects our arms, so it keeps them, like, not as beat up, I guess. Man. I'm struggling to find a piece of the puzzle that fits on this. I guess shoreline we need to go kill Sanitar, technically speaking. So we could do that. I don't know why Reserve is kind of calling my name, though. So I think I think Reserve it is. Let's get this guy. Hopefully get it out here. I guess we can do it with this. Oh, you can't even do it with that guy, though. What is it? Oh, it's this thing. Oh, I could do that, though. No? That really, that really doesn't let you use a lot of different uh, muzzles, huh? I don't think this goes on there. Oh, no, it does. It just doesn't work with that. Dang. Okay. I can't even choose what freaking gun I want. I guess we'll just bring this. Guess we'll just bring that. We'll do you. We'll do you. We'll do you. A couple sixties. A little bit of a red dot situation because we're probably going nighttime. Just don't. I, I like being suppressed. I just don't like 
the ba 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 ba. You know, it is fun. Uh, don't get me wrong, but that's like a factory fun. Uh, I guess I lost that alpha. Huh? I mean, Triton's probably big enough. I mean, we, this is the whole point of having the Red Rebel, but then, like the Red Rebel is going to take up this much for armor. But that's fine. Still better than what we got, right? Um. You need to go back on to... Oh, no, that doesn't need to go back on there. That's done with. Okay, I don't think that's the proper one. You're sold. Keeping those. All right. Let's do bottom-loaded BT. With top-loaded BP. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, with that, just in case Gluhar is there. Um, we're not going to try to force it, though. Like, if he's there and we get him, cool. If not, no worries. Um, hmm. All right. Well, I spent too, I spent too long getting kitted up here, so that's going to have to do it for this episode, uh, YouTube. Might make the next one a two-parter because I want to keep going, but I also don't know if I can do another full episode. But, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching uh, these series in general. We got some wins under our belt. Bit of a more chill episode. But, uh, you know, we made some progress towards getting oh, this done. Not that. I don't care about that. Um, this done. And long road. So... We're 10 away from that. Like, these are, I guess, both required. So, good stuff there. We also were hunting for vertexes. Like, we did give ourselves good shots at vertexes. And weapons parts. Honestly, there was a ton of weapons parts there as well. So, definitely not too bad. Um, definitely thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next episode.